Welcome back everyone, welcome back to let's play more car mechanic, uh, <laughs> not car mechanic, train mechanic simulator 2017. I don't know, I have so many mechanic simulators, well that's a lie, I have two. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do more train stuff. We received a report about a locomotive in the port that could not move after unloading. Tow it to the workshop and check what the problem is. Man, seems like this town still uses steam locomotives for everything. It's quite interesting. Yes, leave the garage because we're going towing. Wow, that's kind of catchy. We're going towing. Is it? I don't know. All right, uh, at the port. So where is the port? Uh, where's the, there we go. There's the port. All right, so the fastest would be just to go through the desert, through the oil fields. All right, pedal to the metal, Bob. Please, no, no, no. Pedal to the metal. What the hell? Pedal to the metal, thank you. I must have pressed space by mistake. All right, off we go. Mm, so all of this is correct at the moment. We'll just go to... Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You don't have to do anything. And even there, the switches go towards the port. So, uh, that's completely fine. We can just enjoy the scenery, enjoy the cockpit, and go... Yeah, I like that. What's this horn sequencer? Alerter reset and something B... E? Something? I don't know. But that. Oh, I can click it like this. Well, that's cool. I wonder if I could click any of the other buttons. I mean, obviously not, but that would be cool. Throttle. Oh, yeah, I can do that. Oh, nice. Actually. That's probably forward and reverse. Hmm. What else can I click in the actual engine? That's probably... Well, that, that wouldn't be for the crane. The crane controls are in the back. It's got its own little, uh... thingy control room. Nope, nothing else. Yeah, there we go. We're going the right way. Why is this steam, lo steam locomotive that couldn't move? There it is. I ain't even gonna break. Cause it's doing all of that in our pilot. Look at that. Alright, so now... Oh yeah. It's actually turned us around. So we just go f pedal to the metal, um, back. That's quite easy. Alright, let's do some more horning. <laughs> I'm so horny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's bad. Alright. So. Beep, 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 beep. No, that doesn't work. Throttle is eight. Dynamic braking is nothing. Or one. Uh, what does it say? Reverse something. I don't know. F5, F6, F7, F8, I think. Man, I want to drive a train for real. I want to feel the power. Also, it must be pretty cool doing it in snow and, and such. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. I mean, you know, I'm saying, oh man, it's so cool, blah, 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 I envy people who can drive trains, but just like with every job, uh, there's pluses and minuses, and I'm sure that uh, train driving also has... Oh, it's a crossing. A bit too late there, but I will. Um, I'm sure that train driving has pretty big downsides as well. Just like everything. I remember my uh, first job. It was in a up-and-coming TV studio, an HD TV studio, which was back in the day something completely new, and nobody has done it yet, and we were sort of... Oh, yeah, that, that, that. We're in the wrong way. Damn it, who changed the... Ah! Alright, let's go back then. Um, I want... What? No, uh, no, I want to change... What? Where's my mouse? Oh, yeah, I have to go here. There. And my first job, yeah, it was a TV studio, and it was really interesting working on all the electronic stuff and the robotic cameras that, you know, went around the studio by themselves as you program them and so on and so forth. 
But holy crap. Damage vehicle has been re restored properly. What? And turned into a workshop. Um, but holy crap, were the, uh, the people working there like zombies. It was an extremely unpleasant work environment. So yeah, you know, if, if anybody said, look at a... Uh, everything indicates that the problem is in the valves in the steam engine's cabin. Um, you know, when, whenever somebody said, oh man, you're so lucky you're working in that, you know, TV studio. I want to see how that is. I've never worked in a TV studio before. And, you know, I told him the truth. It's pretty damn interesting, but holy crap, do you not want to work there? <laughs> now, of course, you know, that was that was due to people, but I don't know, it's just... It's just one of those where the job would be very interesting and cool, but it's the people that just screw it all up. Um, what else? Well, further not found. So there's one more thing here in the cabin that's not right all these look good oh wait a second look at it that valve there you go that should be it um so you know swings and roundabouts as they say pipe set interesting so I'm sure that train driving has its ups and downs as well. It's like um, in my 911 operator let's play. Um, you know, I ask people to tell me if they if they worked as emergency services in actual life and how was it and so on and so forth. And it was ver very interesting to hear. But of course, just like everything, while I would love driving an ambulance, for example, with lights and sirens and all that, you know, I like driving. Um, at the same time, you have to see horrible stuff, and uh, just like I thought, you know, somebody that worked there said that that he's he or she, I'm not sure. I do apologize, probably he, um, that they've seen a lot of pretty horrible stuff in their time, and they actually had trouble sleeping as a result for years, and they changed the their job, and it's much nicer now. So you know. Might sound cool, might be, I don't know, awesome and everything, but at the end of the day, it might not be as rosy as everyone thinks it is. Alright, there we go. How much did we make? 250? Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, for such a quick, easy job, that's completely fine. Now, I'm holding off on... Oops. I'm holding off on improving my workshop because I would like to know what we'll need to improve. It might be mechanics, but if we go back to electric trains... I would probably improve my electric uh, workbench, you know, as a result. So for now, we still have 100% in pretty much everything. The steam engine's cabin requires servicing. Water gauges and reverser valves need to be repaired. Okay. I like working in the actual cabin. It's quite interesting. Find the water uh, meters in the boiler. Find the problem with the reverser box. Wait, the water meters in the boiler? Interesting. This sounds like it'll be a bit of a bigger repair. Uh, that needs reverser box. Interesting. Uh, that I guess because of that. Whoa! I guess because that reverses the pistons. Because uh, there's, I believe, obvious. I, I'm pretty sure there's no gearing in the steam engines. Uh, there's just the pistons that drive the wheels. And to reverse the train, you actually need to. Uh, Reverse the flow of steam, I believe. So this probably might do it. That is a lot of screws. I'm guessing that's because this this thing is under full pressure um, of the entire th system. Uh, right, that was that. There's the water meters. Wait a second, is that it? Yes, it is. I thought I would actually have to go into the actual boiler. Alright, I'm fine with that. Let's see. Um, 5,000 to repair that. Boiler water meter, also 5,000. And... Wait. Oh no, I failed it! Ah! Crap. Okay. Well, what can you do? Ah, damn it, I failed more both of them, even though they were 66%. That's what I get for uh, doing all four 66% parts in the previous... Um, of this let's play 
Oh well, boiler water meter. Damn it. Boiler water meter. There we go. I need two of them. We'll go over the um, over the budget with this, unfortunately. Darn it! Oh well. You win some, you lose some. What can you do? Except make an apple pie. Mm -mm. Apple pie. Now let's put the reverser box back in and all the three billion gajillion million screws. Actually, it's made from two parts. The reverser box, which does have quite a few screws. And then the other thing that also has a hell of a lot of screws. Why is it floating? Oh, because... Ah, because this is already the, fl the floor here. The top reverser box that also has loads of screws. Yeah, I'm guessing this needs to be bolted down so badly because... Um, it's under... F I mean... It takes all of the pressure here. I mean, I don't know. I don't have a lot of knowledge about steam engines, but I'm guessing. There, reverser valve. That valve must be pretty crazy. Alright, and that's it. Yep, we went over the uh, over the allotted uh, budget, unfortunately. But hey, they should be happy with me. I do that. I mean, I do stuff under the budget quite a lot. So they should be happy. The Railway Museum gave us an old locomotive which requires superficial repairs. Find all the rusty parts and make repairs. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, that's a little bit rusty. Start with housing repairs. Fresh paint would be good too. Some wheels are slightly rusted. The cabin requires mandatory refreshing. It is a good idea to clean the lights and whistle. Interesting, that's quite... That's probably one of the largest uh, repairs we had so far. I think. Right, all oh, this comes off. And on the other side as well. And both of the guards. And then I believe... Oh yeah, no, we have to take the lights off as well. Which we need to repair anyway. Look at that glow, that's <laughs> kind of cool actually. And that comes off. And all of this comes off as well. Take that front line off. Don't even need to uh, specifically move my mouse because the wrench is so big that it seems to touch almost all the screws <laughs> and then undoes them one by one. Right, now we can take the boiler off. The housing, I mean. Alright, now let's take this, the, this wheel off. It's probably require quite a bit. Uh, I need to take this off. Oh yeah, the connector. And that, and now we can take it off there. On the other side as well. Wait, I didn't, I didn't even need to take the connector off. Oh well. Oh yeah, on this side, they still haven't done that. I need to take the, uh, not the brake caliper, but the brake lever. There. There. And now I can take this brake caliper off. And of course, these things need to come off as well. There we go. Alright, that's that. And then... Inside, let's see, these wheels are fine. Inside the cabin. The door hatches need to come off. Can you take the seats out? Yes, you can. Interesting, and in fact, they do need to be uh, repaired. Interesting. Uh, everything looks good here. Let's see, so we found that. We found those. Found... Ah. So there's something in here still. And we found all that. So there's one little thing here that's rusty and does not belong. Uh, is it this? Yes, it is. There we go. What was that? The relief valve? The boiler relief valve? Shouldn't that be automatic? Uh, it's prob it probably wasn't. They had to do it themselves. Right. Uh, let's see. Let me only show this workbench. The whistle can be repaired. And then we have all the mechanical stuff. The housing for eight and a half thousand. That's not bad. How long would that take? That would be crazy. Two thousand per wheel, pretty much. Uh, there we go. 
large drive wheel. There's the left door hatch. Whoa, it's so expensive. It's double as expensive as the wheels. Why? Jeez, you'd think that the wheels would be much more expensive. Right seat backrest. Man, those seats will look snazzy and nice and new. Backrest. There's a left seat and the relief valve lever there. All right, I think it's all done. We just need to put it back together and it will look shiny and new. Let's put stuff at the back here first. So there's the relief valve lever with one screw and the hatches without any screws for some reason. Okay, now the seats. Shall we? Uh, shall we just leave them with the seats? No re uh, rests, backrests. <laughs> there. All right, I think that's it in here. Well, let's go for the wheels. So that comes back on, and on the other side as well. Oh, right. There. And there's the other one in there. And now I can put all this back together. Small connector. And this counterweight. And there's so many things here. Uh, I believe that's it. Right, let's do the other side. Calipers as well. Caliper there. The wheel connector. And the small connector. And of course there's a the brake line. Sorry, the brake caliper connector. And then we need the brake lever. Uh, oh yeah, the line is already there. Okay, I think... Oh yeah, the lights and the, the actual cover, of course. Let's install that. Whoop! There goes that handle. Let's also do the guard. I have to say that this steam engine looks very pretty. I like the design and the look of it. It must have been pretty crazy when these first came out. They'd, people probably thought, oh man, we're in the future now. Yeah. We'll be flying with these locomotives soon enough. Wait, I didn't repair these? I thought I did. Oh yeah, because they're electric. Hmm. Still interesting why they're electric. Alright. Front lights, all of that. And we'll be well within the budget because we've managed to repair everything with a 100%. Didn't lose money anywhere. Didn't have to do uh, buy anything new. So that is excellent. Of course, these need a lot of screws. There we go. Let's do the other one. There. And then we have these ones up here. Plus the whistle. Have I repaired the whistle? I don't think I did. Yeah, I did. Never mind. Alright. I think we are done. Yes. No, the train is not complete. What's missing? Hmm. Uh. Right. Let's see. Ah. That connector here the connecting rod and now it should be complete there we go we're well within the budget 13,000 below the actual budget thing so that's good well thanks so much for watching i hope you're enjoying this again and or still and i'll see you in the next part of train mechanic simulator bye bye